Yo, we are three days into MLB The Show, and we're seeing set twos in the headliners and prospect packs already. And not to mention that these packs dropped on a Monday. If this is how it's going to be this year, we're in for an amazing ride, and my wallet is not going to like it. But today, we have a 50-pack bundle with a ball in is a habit pack all five of the set two headliners and two of the brand new prospect packs as well we will reveal who you can pull from these set two headliners and the set two prospect packs but before we begin if you want to support my pack openings this year make sure you leave a subscribe down below and leave a like on the video today we're going for the top we're going for mike trout last year we pulled him twice this year we are finally going to pull him here in our basically our second pack opening of the year i've been pulling like 10 bundles here and there so technically in a video this is our very actually third we had our opening night and then we had the set two and pros set one headliners and set one prospects and so this one's gonna be the third pack opening of the year it's been three days it feels like it's been like almost a month already but that's just how much content there is in mlb the show 20 it's been a wild ride. We start out with a gold Ryan Presley. So we're one for one. One pack and 1,500. And Stubbs already were two for two on the golds. Oh my goodness. Those of you that are just getting the game, make sure you watch my other tips and tricks videos, especially the one on team affinities and showdown. I feel like those are very important to start your year off right having played them here in the last few days. Definitely one of the first thing that you should be looking at and perfecting. A lot of good diamonds to grind in Team Affinities as well, so make sure you check that out. I have those videos on my channel in a in the MLB 20 playlist. So just play the playlist while you're grinding your game in opening packs. Another thing, I heard that if you like this video and follow me on Twitter and post your diamonds on my Twitter with my, with my Twitter handle, I heard that you get better pack luck that way. Don't listen to me. I'm, I'm just making stuff up. What the frick, man? Oh my god. I, I just tried. <laughs> I just tried so hard not to swear right there. Remember, YouTube is family friendly. YouTube, I'm sorry if if frick freaking is not a good word, but I tried so hard not to swear right there. Come on, we've got our first diamond in the 50 bundle. National League shortstop. Trevor Story. Trevor Story's like 20k right now. We got the cover boy, Javi Baez, 86 overall. Okay. I dig it. If this is the first time you're seeing the diamond reveals, they are super easy but super crisp this year. That's at least 30,000 stubs already. Javi Baez, 12 packs in. Wow. I'll take it, man. Because we're going to get two guaranteed diamonds out of the prospects. And hopefully in the set two. I forgot to show you who's in set two. Hang on. Hang on one second. So in the set two pack, you have Shelfie's 91 overall, Jimmy Rollins. And I say Shelfie because Shelfie is a huge Philadelphia Phillies fan. So I'm, I'm actually really jealous that he gets this card. But props to him. In the prospect packs, we got Jesus Luzardo at 90 overall. Look at this card. Lefty starting pitcher, curveball sinker, changeup, four seamer, and slider. This year, it's very important to have pitching in your in your lineup. Royce Lewis, such a cool card to have in MLB The Show 20. Shortstop can play anywhere except first base and catcher, and pretty well rounded out stats. Basically, 70 across the board. Then we got the Michael Cole pack. I actually have his. See this right here? See this right here? This is his autographed baseball. Michael Kopech in the game. 99 overall, 99 velocity. Another cool card. Christian Pash. Yes, another one. Julio Rodriguez, Matt Manning, and Nick Madrigal. Would love to pull at least a mid, man. At least a mid. One of these two. I'd probably go Michael Kopech if I go top. I don't know. That's a, that's a tough choice. Whether it be Royce Lutz or Jesus Lozardo. But we got to get there first. We're going to open up all... Of our standard packs first. Wow. Javi Baez to start this pack opening. I dig it. 
I absolutely dig it, man. We're at 32. We're at 32 to go, so you're telling me there's a chance. So you're telling me there's a chance that we're going to get multiple diamonds in a 50-pack bundle. This barely happened to us last year. 50 bundles were not our friends last year. The 20 bundles. The 20 bundles was definitely the one that, that gave us a lot of diamonds in years past. So I hope, I hope the trend isn't 50 packs back bundles this year because 75k is a, still a lot. I don't want to spend 75k for packs. But if we have to, for your entertainment, like I said, all you have to do is, is leave a subscribe and a like on the videos. And that, that's supporting, man. That is supporting me with this pack journey this year. 20. 20 to go. Last 20 bundle. And now we're going to go into our special packs. Fallen as a habit should be good. We are 0 for 2 in the Fallen as a habits this year. But third time could be the charm. It could be the charm. 37k or 35k probably for the Javi Baez. So that's about half of what these packs are. And we're pretty close to getting back that 75k. Because all the golds right now that are coming in. Chris Bryant is 5,000 stubs. I didn't even know he wasn't a diamond this year. That might be a keeper. Just in case all these golds coming in. We're definitely going to get all our subs back just in the... For the standard packs. We spent 75k in the standards. We're probably at about 60 right now. But then again, we spent another about 90k to get the set, headliner, the set two headliners and the prospect packs. But there's another gold. What is that? Like six golds now in this bundle with a diamond? Great packs right now. The pack luck is booming. I think that's our eighth diamond this year already. Regular, the reg, Shohei Otani. The regular MLB The Show season at the time of this video has not even launched yet. The game hasn't launched and we've pulled seven diamonds already. Can we keep it going? Three standard packs, balls of habits, set two headliners on its way, including the prospect packs. Okay, another gold, another like high tier gold too. I'm digging it. I am digging the pack luck right now. We'll do this final one very slowly. Maybe there's going to be a Mike Trout in it, please. Come on, SDS. You have failed me. I wanted Trout. So in the ball and the habit, we've got a 1 in 15 chance at an 85 diamond gold, a diamond player and a 1 in 1 in gold. Same thing with here. Actually, not same thing. That's 1 in 10. That's 1 in 10 in the set 2 to get the Jimmy Rollins. And then 1 in 10 for the top tier. And 1 in 3 for the 87 diamond or better. Let me know. Are we going to be pulling this Jimmy Rollins today? Or any of the top choice packs? I really don't know who to pick between those two though. Okay. But alright. Ball is a habit. Then we're going to do a couple set 2 headliners. Boo you. Boo you, headliners. Uh, we're going to do two of the set two headliners. And then we're going to do one of the prospect packs. That's how we're going to do it this year. Unless they give us more headliners to pull later on later on in the season. But that's probably how we're going to do our pack openings for these headliners. And these prospect packs. So two silvers. I guess I'll take that. Even though it's not worth 7,500 stubs. But second pack, here we go. I'm, I'm skunk. I'm skunk so far in all of these special packs. But here we go. This could be it. We could turn the tide right here with a mid. That's all I'm asking for. Mid prospect Ooh. pack. We get a... No, not a mid. Do we go with pitching or do we go... have my outfield. My outfield is basically stacked already. We got second baseman. A righty second baseman. Don't really need that either right now. I think I can get away with using Glaber Torres for a while. So I think it's gotta be Matt Manning. Right. It, this pitching. This pitching right now is really the one that we need to upgrade so far. But here we go. We're gonna open up the next three set two headliners. And that's going to be it. At least we got a gold Glaber Torres out of one of them. 
But we may we may get skunked again. We may get skunked again for diamonds in the set headliners. We're down to the final one, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, pet gods. Ooh. Corey Kluber, that could be a diamond. I guess. What do I gotta do? What I well, tell me, tell me, comments. Comments down below. Tell me what I gotta what I gotta do to get a rare diamond. And if I don't get it here, I'll try that for the next, next set, for set threes. For set threes, tell me what I gotta do to pull one of the, these rare items, and I'll do it. I'll do anything. Maybe not anything. This, this could, this could really be a problem that I'm telling you guys this, but okay. All right. Here we go. No more waiting. Come on! Ah. This makes me really sad, but I think we're gonna go with outfielder Julio Rodriguez this time, and now we go back to grinding out stubs. Do we keep Javi Baez? Because he can play second base, right? Yeah, Javi Baez can play second base. Good power, 47 vision, but we do, we do have Glaber Torres over there. I do like using Glaber Torres. All right, so I think we'll keep Javi Baez on the team for a little bit, cover boy. Use him for a little bit. Our team is almost a full diamond lineup with that. So we moved Mondesi over to second base because his arm's a little bit weaker. Javi has that 92 fielding and 98 arm. That's going to be super tough for people out there. But dang, boys. I I've been skunked in back-to-back -back sets so far. Maybe set three is going to be what they say as third time is the charm. But we won't. No, until next time. So it does say here that on 320 this Friday, there is going to be a set three pack already. So be prepared for that. Grind out the market. Get more stubs if you need to. From here, I'm going to go finish up some more collections so I can push towards that level 80 in the XP reward path. I do want that 99 Corey Kluber. I'm going to go through all my gold, sell, sell all those probably. If it weren't for that Javi Baez pull. This, this pack opening would have been a total disaster. So I'm grateful. Grateful for that pack, for that diamond that we pulled today. And I'm grateful for you guys watching this video. All jokes out of the way though, I do want to remind you to please leave a subscribe on the channel and turn on post notifications. If you bought the game during this, new, this second launch, check out my other two videos here. Like I said before, we do have very good tips and tricks right now for all of you guys that are new to the game or just want a little refresher. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.